liquid diet, she must have lost 70 pounds. In case you don't already know, the keto diet is short for the ketogenic diet. It's got things in common with the Atkins diet plan and other low-carbohydrate diets, but supposedly with a bit more science behind it. I love it. You eat bacon. I eat bacon. I love bacon. Today, we're going to share information about 10 eateries that cater to keto diet fans. We'll give you guys all of this nutritional info because we know that you want results from your keto lifestyle. I wish I were big. Knowing what's in the food that you eat is important. So for those who love the keto diet, let's check out the top 10 keto-friendly restaurants. Bye. I want to coach you. You're the only person I've ever met who's just as hungry as me. Outback Steakhouse. How bloody are ya? While dining at Outback Steakhouse, you'll have keto-friendly choices galore, but you'll need to avoid the carb-laden side dishes. If you're willing to forego the carbohydrate-rich sides, you'll have your pick of entrees, from steak to fish to decadent lobster tails and king crab. Burgers will be good choices, too, as long as you don't eat the buns or load your burgers with toppings that contain <coughs> carbs. Oh! If it's appetizers you're craving, consider Kookaburra wings. The small portion of wings will have 26 grams of fat, 35 grams of protein, and only 8 net carbs. A salad will also make a nice appetizer. Just watch the dressing. One superb entree to consider is the slow-roasted prime rib. It's hearty, satisfying, and delicious. The portion weighs in at 8 ounces and contains 700 calories, plus 57 grams of total fat, 26 grams of which come from saturated fat. Slow-roasted prime rib contains no carbs at all, but it does have 1160 milligrams of sodium, as well as one gram of sugar. You'll get 46 grams of protein from this Outback Steakhouse meal option. It doesn't contain any fiber. This American restaurant serves up American food with an interesting Aussie theme. Good day. Losers. The casual dining eatery chain has its headquarters in sunny Tampa, Florida. Right now, there are more than a thousand of these restaurants in the United States and other nations, including Australia, Canada, Asia, and South America. The restaurant was founded during March of 1988. The eatery is probably best known for its Bloomin' Onion, which definitely isn't keto-friendly. The Bloomin' Onion contains 17 net carbs per serving. So don't walk, run to Outback. We've got plenty more to serve up, so if you're new to the channel, take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. Ruby Tuesday. Wicked Garden Bar! This restaurant <laughs> chain got its name from a Rolling Stones song. These days, there are over 700 Ruby Tuesday restaurants in 40 American states and 12 other countries. The first Ruby Tuesday restaurant featured some faux Tiffany lamps, plus hamburgers with English muffin buns. The days of English muffin buns are long gone. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Today, there are plenty of great options for keto diet fans. So, what can you enjoy at a Ruby Tuesdays while you're following your keto diet? Well, the Endless Garden Bar is one excellent option. Create your own combinations of veggies, salad greens, seeds, nuts, meat, dairy, and pico de gallo salsa. Avoid the carb-rich toppings, including croutons, fruit, corn, fried onions, crackers, and beans. For an entree, indulge without breaking your diet by ordering Asiago bacon chicken or New Orleans seafood. Asiago bacon chicken contains 479 calories, 27 grams of total fat, 7 grams of which is saturated, plus 9 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber, 42 grams of protein, and 2 grams of sugar. It also contains 2,387 milligrams of sodium. New Orleans seafood has 347 calories, 14 total fat grams, five of which are saturated fat, and four grams of carbs. This seafood entree also contains 1,760 milligrams of sodium, as well as 44 grams of protein. New Orleans seafood has no fiber or sugar. I say Ruby, you say... No. Cracker Barrel. It's time to create your country dinner plate. Cracker Barrel restaurants feature a homey and welcoming atmosphere which is decidedly old-fashioned and inspired by the American South. These eateries plus gift shops harken back to yesteryear, thanks to their rustic decor. Most famous for serving up chicken and dumplings, which aren't a good keto diet option, Cracker Barrel Old Country Store does offer some entree menu items which are just right for keto diet followers. While you're at Cracker Barrel, consider ordering lemon pepper grilled rainbow trout or grilled sirloin steak. For keto-friendly side dishes, add cottage cheese or coleslaw. The lemon pepper grilled rainbow trout entree features a filet of boneless spring water trout that's lightly seasoned the trout is grilled to perfection. When you order this seafood dish, you'll be able to select your preferred country sides. We've already recommended the keto-friendly ones. Give that back, I'm starving. Good. Maybe your body will start eating itself. 
Stay away from the french fries, corn muffins, and buttermilk biscuits, although they do sound tasty, don't they? Grilled sirloin steak from Cracker Barrel features an 8-ounce filet, which is choice top sirloin based on USDA standards, and you may order it grilled just as you like it. While corn muffins and buttermilk biscuits are offered with this meal, and these baked items are made from scratch, you'll need to avoid them. Instead, choose a low-carb side. Four hard wieners and a side order of wet tots, please. The Cheesecake Factory. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go there. The name Cheesecake Factory isn't exactly synonymous with no carb or low carb dieting, so you may be pleasantly surprised to learn that there is a keto friendly entree on the menu. When you opt for the skinny licious grilled salmon, you'll enjoy great taste. Now, let's look at the nutritional information for this particular menu item. It contains 590 calories, 8 grams of saturated fat, 16 grams of carbohydrates, and 634 milligrams of sodium. The restaurant company is known for its cheesecakes, so you'll need a bit of willpower to avoid avoid ordering one of these delectable desserts while you're at the Cheesecake Factory. The very first Cheesecake Factory opened its doors to the public way back in 1978 in ritzy Beverly Hills. David M. Overton founded this restaurant. Nowadays, there are 210 Cheesecake Factory eateries. The restaurant chain is renowned for its big portions, delicious cheesecakes, other tasty baked items, and interesting, well-rounded menu, which features pizza, burgers, steaks, pasta, and sandwiches. Now that you know about these skinny-licious grilled salmon, you'll know what to order when you go into this popular restaurant. While other menu items with much higher carb counts may test your devotion to the keto diet, you'll always know that there is an entree that does fit your diet. This is a place for families that drive Camrys and go to Disney. Olive Garden. Rufio, 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 Rufio. Olive Garden is such a popular American restaurant chain. It specializes in Italian American food. In spring of 2018, there were 892 Olive Garden eateries all over the world. The restaurant brought in $3.8 billion in revenue. If you want keto friendly grub at Olive Garden, you'll need to bypass the breadsticks and go for herb grilled salmon with Parmesan crusted zucchini or the chicken piccata. When you choose the salmon entree, it will contain 460 calories and have 28 grams grams of fat, eight of which are saturated. It'll also contain 570 milligrams of sodium, eight grams of carbs, four grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and 33 grams of protein. If you prefer to order chicken piccata, the lunch version will contain 350 calories, 21 grams of total fat, nine grams of which comes from saturated fat, and 1,230 milligrams of sodium. You'll get 11 grams of carbs, a couple of grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and 33 protein grams. Uh, see, I'm a vegetarian, so. Oh, right, I forgot I'm dealing with Miss Kelly. California here. Stuffed mushrooms are also a tasty menu item to consider. They are decadent thanks to their clam and cheese filling, and very satisfying too. We were out at the Olive Garden for dinner, which was lovely. P.F. Chang's. Because of the intense heat, food cooks in a matter of seconds, locking in all the flavors and nutrients. P.F. Chang's is one of the newer restaurants on the list. It opened for business in 1993. However, its provenance dates back to the swinging 60s, when a woman named Cecilia Chang ran her own Chinese eatery, which was known as the Mandarin. This is the Mandarin? No, no, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. Hi, Trevor. Trevor Sletcher. The Mandarin was a favorite of the late Beatle John Lennon and his wife, Yoko Ono. When Cecilia returned to her native China for a long trip, her son, Philip, decided to take over. In the 1990s, a restaurateur named Paul Fleming appreciated the food that the Changs offered and decided to help the Changs expand. Philip and Paul Fleming went into business together, and the result was P.F. Changs. Now, let's talk keto-friendly diet options at P.F. Changs. Your best bet is to order shrimp with lobster sauce or perhaps the pepper steak. Don't order any rice. If you want the shrimp dish, you should know that it contains 380 calories, 20 of total fat, 4 grams of which is saturated, 2,800 milligrams of sodium, 20 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugar, and 29 grams of protein. The pepper steak dish contains 680 calories, 38 grams of total fat, 8 of which are saturated, 2,770 milligrams of sodium, 32 grams of carbs, 4 grams of fiber, 20 grams of sugar, and 51 grams of protein. Ready for another lesson? Red Lobster. Yeah, 
first Red Lobster opened for business during 1968 in Lakeland, Florida, USA. Today, headquarters for Red Lobster Hospitality LLC are located in Orlando, Florida. There are over 700 Red Lobster restaurants all over the world, and plenty of them are in the USA. If you think you can resist the restaurant's famous Cheddar Bay biscuits and stick to keto-friendly options, it may be time to take a trip to Red Lobster. Beyonce is a fan, and you may love this seafood eatery too. So, what to order? Well, you should consider filet mignon. It contains 420 calories, 22 total fat grams, 11 of which come from saturated fat, and 1170 milligrams of sodium. It also contains 26 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fiber, a couple of grams of sugar, and 31 grams of protein. Broccoli is the ideal side dish at Red Lobster. A single serving contains 40 calories, 0 fat grams, 220 grams of sodium, 8 grams of carbs, a couple of grams of sugar, and 3 grams of protein. Another great option for entrees is salmon New Orleans. However, you will need to go for the half portion. When you do, your entree will contain 570 calories, 37 total fat grams, 8 of which come from saturated fat, 1,060 milligrams of sodium, 10 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fiber, 3 sugar grams, and 45 protein grams. If you've ever eaten at Red Lobster, I probably took your order. Has anyone, <laughs> anyone here? The Capitol Grill. We are one of the only restaurants in the country that serves dry-aged beef. This USA Steakhouse restaurant chain is upscale. If you want an elegant dining experience which fits with your keto dining plan, then visiting the Capitol Grill may be a great way to spend an afternoon or evening. The first Capitol Grill opened in Rhode Island in 1990. The initial steakhouse in Providence, Rhode Island really stood out because it was so elegant, and it was then surrounded by rundown buildings in the downtown core. The founder of the Capitol Grill, Ned Grace, believed in his vision for his eatery, even though he opened it during a recession. He was certain that politicians and bankers would feel right at home in his restaurant. I am Abe Froman, the sausage king of Chicago. He was right. These days, there are 51 restaurants rather than just one. If you want to chow down at this refined steakhouse, go for double-cut lamb rib chops. They contain 760 calories, 35 grams of fat, 16 grams of which are from saturated fat, and 350 milligrams of sodium. They also contain 34 grams of carbs, a gram of fiber, 29 grams of sugar, and 76 grams of protein. Another popular keto-friendly option is swordfish. It is so choice. Bonefish Grill. Need both his grills to blow your mind, yeah. This seafood restaurant is American and has a casual dining vibe. It's owned and run by a Tampa, Florida-based company called Bloomin' Brands, who also own Outback Steakhouse. Bloomin' Brands bought the Bonefish Grill in 2001. At that point in time, there were only three Bonefish Grill eateries. After being snapped up by Bloomin' Brands, the Bonefish Grill restaurant chain grew exponentially. By 2006, there were 100 restaurants. Known for dinner offerings, although some Bonefish Grill locations do offer brunch on the weekends, this restaurant chain specializes in wood-grilled fish. Of course, grilled fish is a great choice for keto diet followers, so there are some great choices here. For example, the ahi tuna steak is a tasty option and has just 220 calories, plus 4 total fat grams, 1 gram of which is from saturated fat. It also has 160 milligrams of sodium, 0 carbs, 0 fiber, 0 sugar, and 35 grams of protein. I'll have the tuna. No crust? No crust. If you'd rather try something else, you'll find that the Atlantic salmon or Chilean sea bass are also zero-carb entrees. That's pescatarian. That's not a religion. They're all fanatics. I don't know. Of course, you can't have carby side dishes. This goes for every restaurant on this list. You have to choose the right side dishes. Try Fat Burger from now on. You get yourself a double cheese with fries for two ninety five. dollars Applebee's. Are you guys sure Applebee's is the best place to meet hot, horny women at? What do you think, an Olive Garden? This American restaurant chain is a good place to find keto-friendly meals. Right now, there are 2,033 Applebee's restaurants operating in America, Guam, Puerto Rico, and 15 other nations. Applebee's was founded in Georgia in 1980. To enjoy a keto-friendly meal at Applebee's, go for the Shrimp and Parmesan Sirloin, which contains 620 calories, 42 grams of fat, 23 grams of which are from saturated fat, and 7 grams of carbs. Is butter a carb? Yes. This entree also features 2,570 grams of sodium, 2 grams of fiber, 2 grams of sugar, and 57 grams of protein. So, for keto diet followers, you too can eat out without feeling too deprived. I can eat whatever I want and still look like this. We'll never deprive you of great videos, so while you're here, just point and click on one of our others. And do you want to become an official Babble Topper? Just click on the join link in the description below for more details.